Well, anyway, uh, yesterday we discussed about your graph and you guys know that the relationship between force and the stretch of the spring can be seen in your slope. And the slope actually tells us about what? What does the slope of your graph represent? Can anyone remind me about? How strong the spring is. And the what do we? The constant velocity. What? Spring constant. So the slope actually tells us about the spring constant. And I want to remind you about the purpose of, of our lab. And we have two purposes of our lab, right? The first would be to find the relationship between force and the stress. And what would be the second one? Find the energy. Find the energy. So today we're going to talk about that. So in order to figure out how much energy is stored in the spring, I want you to take out your notebook, but you don't have to make a note right now. You just need to listen and pay attention. In order to figure out how much energy is stored in the spring, I'm going to draw a graph representing the relationship between force and the stretch. And here is in the y-axis, there would be force in Newton. Wait. Force in Newton. And we have stretch delta x in meter so let's say here is 0 0 0.5 1 and this one would be 1.5 meter this one is let's say 10 20 and 30 so how do i get this number when i just made them up so don't worry about that but the most important thing is the graph. So I want you guys to look at this graph because this graph actually gives us an idea about how much energy stored in the spring. You guys remember that when you did your experiment, you put masses on the spring, right? And as you put masses on the spring, what happened? The spring stretch. Stretch got longer and longer, right? Mm -hmm. So, and we wonder how much energy stored in the spring. So let's say we put masses on the spring and stretch it until it was a length of 0.5 meter and then we know that the energy stored in the spring if we stretch the spring into 0.5 meter would be small amount because we only stretch it a little bit so i'm gonna draw a pie chart representing the energy store in the spring if we stretch it to 0.5 meter so i'm gonna just write el what is el elastic energy okay so this is how it looks like when we stretch a spring to 0.5 meter and we draw a small circle representing a small amount of energy now you can also imagine that if we stretch the spring into one meter then there would be a large amount of energy stored in the spring and the spring get harder and harder to stretch i have a spring here Okay, if I stretch the spring just a little bit, then the energy stored in the spring just small amount, right? Mm -hmm. But if I stretch it, like let's say for example to one meter long, then how much energy stored in the spring? Would it be less or more, more energy, right? Yeah. There will be large amount of energy stored in the spring if we stretch it to one meter. Mm -hmm. 